Well, welcome everybody. My name is Mike Martin. I'm going to be the uh, the MC for this wonderful thing today. The uh, the the Lenny Awards, the 2022 Lenny Awards, brought to you by Litmus and the the marketing team that you see here. These wonderful folks who put this this together. Uh, but I mean, we couldn't have done it without you, of course. All of the wonderful folks who are going to be presenting today, all the people who submitted uh, for all of the different things from partner training and uh, sales training and all of those types of things. So uh, it was a it was a crowded a competitive market uh, this this time around, which was great, had lots of people in it. And the ones today uh, we're going to hear from are the ones who have won the coveted awards. And uh, I'm really excited to learn more about their companies and about uh, why they decided to share. Let's just jump in and get started. Um, so 2022 Lenny Awards, our first one coming at you is the uh, a fantastic group that we've worked with for quite a while now. And th this is Let's just, let's, you know, without further ado, let's just, let's just turn the page and make it happen. I, I know you all want to see, but -ba yeah, not-for-profit training, best not-for-profit training. Uh, Wes is here to speak on behalf of NWFA, the National Wood Flooring Association. Congratulations to you. We're super excited uh, for you to win this first award today. Um, Wes, do we have you on the line? Are you, yes, I'm are you here. There? Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Hey, by the way, I want to tell you first, you have the best first name. Uh, my, my oldest son, he's 16. I, his name is Wesley. And uh, yeah, that's fantastic. So we're already best friends. Uh, nice. Nice. Great to have you here, Wes. Uh, really excited to hear from you, right? So we're going to uh, let you take the take the lead. We want to put up uh, some data about your, your company for all those watching and following along at home. But uh, you know what? I'm going to turn it over to you and let you and let you run with it. Go ahead, Wes. Great. Thanks so much, Mike. Well, first off, good morning. I'm Wes Morgenthaler, um, instructional designer and LMS administrator here at NWFA. And I'm joined by my colleague, Stephanie Owen, who's the vice president of education here. So first off, we just wanna thank the Litmus team for this Lenny Award in the not-for-profit category. We're, we're honored. So to give some clarification, the, the National Wood Flooring Association, NWFA, is an international not-for-profit trade association. So as such, we support all segments of the wood flooring association. So we, we work with contractors, manufacturers, retailers, distributors, and inspectors. So our mission is to help all of our members succeed in a very competitive marketplace right now. And education is obviously key to accomplishing this. So let's dive into our use case. Um, we've been with Litmus for seven years, and it's enabled us to address a very diverse training all the training needs of our members. So in a nutshell, we, we offer comprehensive blended learning programs covering sales, installation, sand and finish, manufacturing, and inspection. So a very diverse population that we're serving. So hands-on skills training is kind of foundational to our industry. They have to learn important skills. So hands-on has always been very critical for us. So we offer regional classes throughout the year and we're tracking that attendance on the Litmus platform. But Lit Litmus has a, enabled us to extend our education. So we, we not only offer face-to-face, -face, but we offer an extensive catalog of e-learning courses that we've developed internally here to expand their, their knowledge. And those are organized into learning paths and on Litmus. So basically learners can go through the learning paths and each one of them they eventually culminate in a certification exam and a hands-on skills training. So we track both that exam and the hands-on hands training in Litmus. And then once they complete the programs, then they're awarded an industry certification and we offer digital badges. So all of that is managed and administered through the Litmus platform. So once they achieve their certification, um, they are required to earn continuing education. So obviously we offer a lot of learning that they can continue to participate in on the Litmus platform. So we're tracking CEUs and we also offer many other learning events at our meetings. And again, we're using Litmus as kind of the, the primary repository to track all of that activity. Um, so we also use Litmus to add value in lots of other ways. So I'm just gonna go through a quick bullet pointed list we offer relevant videos to our members on a monthly basis. So they're webinars on topical, topical points of interest for them. And then we host all of those videos on Litmus. So again, they can watch those at their convenience. They also earn credit for those. And we schedule, we use the customized reporting feature 
to share with our members so that they can also encourage participation at their companies. So managers like that so they can monitor what their people are doing, help them and make sure that there is participation. We provide um, customized UIs for our members. So each member obviously has their own branding, their own culture. So we're using the teams and the brands and the linked accounts to offer them more of a personalized experience. So when their employees log into the university, they see something that reflects their own culture company. And um, that seems to be very popular. So also the other thing that's been very important to us is using the, the API. So we built several powerful integrations to enhance our members' experience. Um, we're um, using a single sign-on. So when they log into our member portal, they can access the university directly. Um, we also sync data from our AMS, which is our association management platform with Litmus. So anytime there's changes to data, on our AMS, it flows seamlessly into Litmus, which um, greatly enhances our ability to serve our customers. Any lear learner achievements and CEOs are then sent back from Litmus to our AMS. So what's great about that is when our members log into their own personal portal, they see what they've accomplished on the Litmus side. So there's a back and forth flow of data from AMS to Litmus and then Litmus back to our AMS. And then finally, we integrate with several third party vendors. We integrate with DocuSign. So there's certain code of conduct documents that learners have to sign for their certification. So we, we use DocuSign that allows them to do that directly in the Litmus platform. And then we also integrate with Credly who offers digital badging. So when they complete um, certification programs, we, we offer a digital badge that then they can use on their social media, um, et cetera. So the ROA really quickly, um, for us, education is vital to us as an industry um, trade association. So education continues to be important. Litmus has helped us grow that program and it grows every year in terms of participation. Um, the other thing that we've done for our members, certification has become critical for them mm -hmm. in terms of um, building a, a way to differentiate themselves in the marketplace. So certification and us being able to administer that for them is critical for their business success. And then also it helps us reinforce the industry standards that we're trying to uphold. So our education, our certification programs all help us promote quality workmanship and expertise in our industry, which helps the entire industry. So as a final point, I think the words of advice that we would say in terms of litmus is that leverage the powerful API. Um, being able to integrate it with our other applications has helped us not only provide a better experience for our members, but it's helped us internally better um, use our resources. And then finally, we really love the idea that we can use the teams and the branding and the, the multi-account linked sites to create customized experiences for our, our members. So they're leveraging our content, but it's in the context of something that they're all familiar with that looks like their company and their branding. So that's it in a nutshell. Wow, Wes, I, I tell you, it's uh, it's one of those things that it, it makes a lot of sense why you got this award. <laughs> There's no question in my mind why why you won this, especially, I think we need another award for using all of the things award in, in Litmus, uh, all of the integrations and the, the brands. And it just sounds like that you are are really connecting all the dots, which uh, uh, is, is phenomenal and really impressive. So impressive stuff there. Great, and really, you. really, yeah. Are it's there any questions? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we really appreciate you sharing your story with us and your passion and uh, the, the value that you're getting out of that. I, uh, I know there's other people on the line. Does anybody have any questions that they want to ask Wes? We have a, a minute or so to um, answer any of that. Well, I love, I love this idea, Mike. I love the idea of we should have, Kristen, we should have a, a, a bells and whistles award. <laughs> That's right. Like all the things. Next, next year, duly noted, bells and whistles <laughs> you just, award. You yes, just kept saying, and I was like, most. you're using that and using that. And I mean, that's, you're getting the most out of it. You know, I think yeah. about that uh, uh, old commercial. I'm dating myself now, but when I was a kid, it, it was like a, a, a PC commercial. And it's like, you know, you see the guy's back and he's doing something. It's like, does it have the, this processor? And does it has this memory and this and that? And he's like, yep, yep, yep. He's like, what are you doing? Playing solitaire. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you got the Ferrari, but you're just taking it to the grocery store. It's like that. No, you got to go out and drive it. And Wes, you're definitely driving it. And uh, uh, being in the in the wood flooring, it says you know in that in that market. Do you ever run across Build.com at all? You ever you ever hear of them or Ferguson Enterprises? You know those folks. No. We used to sell your, I mean, a lot of flooring. Um, I used I to be in that. When I got my training start with that company, but so I've 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 made a lot of training around uh, flooring and laminate and all of that type of stuff. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of product product training there. So, well, Wes, thank you so much for uh, your passion and your excitement, and uh, that was a really great presentation. So, uh, Thanks, again, yeah, appreciate that. On to our next award. Next up, we have the best customer training, and uh, this is AFG. The award to this year uh, goes to AFG. Now, Peter couldn't be with us today, so Peter sent in a recorded video. And if technology and, and all of that seems to to work for us well, then we're going to be able to play that video, and everybody get a chance to listen in uh, to what Peter has to say. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit hit play and see what happens. <laughs> Hello, my name is Peter Kalis, National Learning and Development Manager for AFG and I'm pleased to provide you with a short presentation on how we use SAP Litmos as our LMS. We've branded our LMS and called it LEARN. LEARN is part of a single sign-on IT project for our members who are mortgage brokers. We designed a new portal called Suite 360 and when our members log in, they're presented with a dashboard of information where they can then click into LEARN to access their training. This was also designed for our internal staff to access. We've customised our learner dashboard to best suit our needs, as well as using the header on the homepage here to encourage our members to complete their cybersecurity training. Learn easily manages our customer base of about 3,500 members. We record and track CPD points and offer a branded portal and customised onboarding journeys for our key enterprise groups. This year alone, we've awarded 55,000 CPD points, 65,000 completions, and had 78,000 enrollments. We have approximately 1,200 courses in our content library. We have delivered 74 national webinars and 111 state-based events. We average around 1,800 unique logins per month from our active users and created 338 new courses. Our LMS offering is a core part of our value proposition to our members, not only in recruitment, but in the successful retention of our existing customers. As mentioned before, customised learning pathways using the time release function, our CPD tracking. We record all our webinars and upload that into Learn for all our other members to view. And we have a consistent onboarding of new members and this all contributes to the success of our overall L&D program. We use a lot of the key Litmos features that are available to us. Some of the successful ones we've used include brands. So as you can see here within brands, we've created a lot for our key enterprise groups. The benefit of that is that when their members log in to the LMS, it's branded with their logo and their colors uh, that matches their website and makes for a more easier transition into learning. The way that we manage CPD, I think is unique. We use badges to track their CPD, as you can see on screen here. We replace the color of our badges every 12 months. The reason being is that our CPD requirements reset every 12 months. So as you can see in this example, we have a pink colored badge and at the beginning of the next financial year, we will replace all our badges with a new color. Changing the color of the badge allows the learner or the admin staff to easily view how many CPD points have been awarded in the respective financial year. In this example here, we use the description field to allocate the CPD points. Our learners can keep track of their CPD points pretty easily. We've created an API with our IT team and we have what's called a training widget, which we have on that dashboard when they first log in. The learner can easily track how much CPD points they've achieved, in this case, the current financial year and their most recent completed CPD courses. Clicking on the completed CPD courses or create a report will take you to their learner page where they can easily access their achievements, view their badges, and also run their own reports. We use the points field to drive our leaderboards, which we activate for relevant teams, which we've set up in the background. Our key enterprise groups really enjoy their custom learning onboarding pathways. What we can do here is provide a mix of our own custom content, use of the Litmos content catalog courses, which we've purchased, 
and also the ability of these key enterprise groups to upload their own custom content. We use the time release function in the learning pathway settings. We also use Zoom and Airtable to link in with our LMS called Learn. Here we designed a widget called Events Calendar. This events calendar is housed in Airtable. To show our learners the list of training that we've got, click on the link. They can then enroll into that webinar using Zoom. And when that webinar is concluded, we download the attendance list from Zoom and then upload those course completions where they receive their CPD points and allows them access back into that webinar to review any of that content that they've already completed. It's also available in the content library for all our other members who didn't attend that webinar live so they can complete it in their own time. And by purchasing the Litmos content catalogue and sorted them by using collections and then we promote those collections through our marketing team. In terms of advice for other customers, I guess I'd say just take the time to understand the full capabilities of the LMS. We've unlocked a lot of the key features, so don't be afraid to ask your account manager lots of questions and make sure you educate your key internal stakeholders too on the value of an LMS. You'd be surprised at how many key business challenges you can overcome by using an LMS. Thanks for listening to our recorded presentation. It's midnight here in Perth, Western Australia. <laughs> Feel free to reach out and ask me any questions if you want to know a little bit more about the way we use Learn. Thank you. Great presentation. I it is a little late there. I would have liked to have been live, but I mean, I totally understand. I'm just kidding. really good stuff. I am really creative as well. I mean, again, they're using a lot of the different functionality. I, I like the way they're using the badges. Um, makes a lot of sense. Uh, another solid, solid winner on the, on the customer training piece. So congratulations to AFG uh, for uh, winning this year's award in the customer training. Now, next up, we have another coveted one. Uh, the big best sales training is our next one here. So who is the winner there? We have Lima Corporate coming in with the best sales training. Um, and David, are you online to be speaking to us? Or who, who's, who's repping Lima Corporate today? He's going to be walking us through a little bit of, uh, of your, your use case. Very excited. Hey, congratulations. Uh, this is a big one, right? The sales use case is one of the biggest that we have uh, um, as, as a business. I mean, many, many, many different sales uh, play, uh, use cases out there. Congratulations on your win. Uh, you have five minutes to take us through. Really excited to hear from you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm glad to be here today. I'm Davide Gugliuzzo from Lima Corporate, and I'm in the training business for sales and external customers who are our, our surgeons. I'm in charge of managing the Litmos learning platform, internally called Lima Genius, as you can see from the logo. Uh, let me say a couple of words about Lima Corporate to give you the feeling on how training is crucial for us and how Litmos is an important partner in spreading training. Lima Corporate is a global orthopedics company with 25 subsidiaries, and its primary focus is on providing reconstructive and custom-made orthopedic solution to surgeons with a clear goal, restore the emotional motion in patients to improve their quality of life. In our industry, excellence is essential because we deal with patients. So we need that our employees be trained to the best of their ability on our products to become consultant of the surgeons. We have been collaborating with SAP Litmos for more than three years. And if, if I'm here today talking to you, it is thanks to a visionary person, Ivana Barbanti, who years ago decided to invest in the development of an e-learning platform, anticipating a necessity highlighted by the pandemic. In fact, during this period, everyone realized how crucial the learning was because all the in-person training were canceled. When we start using Litmos, we focus on creating courses for our sales force, and we also created a training project which involved surgeons. Currently, the focus remains on our sales force, but over time, we have expanded courses for people for all departments. Litmos has provided us both user side and administrator side benefit. First of all, uh, has enabled the creation of a single place uh, where sales people can find the different content, uh, avoiding sending, uh, sending out email multiple times because people miss track of materials, uh, which ended up in a significant time saving. From the user side, uh, Litmos allowed to offer content in a faster way, 
according to the needs of the single users. Well appreciated is also the accessibility from any device and from manual, which is really, really important for the sales force. So there are several advantages also for the administrator. The reporting, which is critical for keeping track of all the activities and which previously requested a lot of manual work. Now we can have uh, reports at any time uh, and we can share easily with the managers. Thanks to the team's organization, we have team leaders with the possibility to create and manage content uh, and create reports on their own for their teams. So another very important aspect, which increased the speed of training assignment, uh, is the automation of tasks that we have been able to create. Uh, on top of that, Lima Corporate developed a customized visualization for each country to more facilitate the training experience of the learners, uh, helping them to navigate throughout the assigned courses, uh, organize by topic, and giving them also the chance to select new content. Uh, thanks to these advantages, we opened more than 1,300 accounts uh, for 35 different countries, uh, offering them uh, quality and personalized training thanks to the more than 1,060 courses created in over 10 different languages. So generally speaking, as usual, we have to know who our audience is when we create a course. So there is not a magic formula, but there are a number of factors that we need to consider whenever we build a training to make it effective and efficient. So in details, uh, invest time to properly think about the team's organization from the very beginning, because it helps in assigning courses and also in creating automatic processes. Another important factor is the release timing of courses to avoid including to overload the user with many courses assigned all together, but rather to create a culture of internal learning within the company. I would like to conclude with a metaphor. In rugby, you score by crossing a line and grounding the ball, but you can only pass the ball back. In Lima Corporate, we want to cross every line, but we need to be supported by the advancement of our teammates to whom we can pass the ball. So we try to offer the best training possible to our sales force because only on together we can win. Thank you. Wow, great presentation. Fantastic. It sounds like uh, what I love about it is you said it started with your sales force, which you won the award here, but uh, you're now it's moved into the entire, entire yeah, organization. Exactly. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, we that's that's fantastic. Training also to more and more people because it's a, it's a very useful tool. Yeah, finding the value and sharing it across there. Yeah, getting everybody on the same thing. That's that's fantastic. Um, any questions out there for Lima Corporate? It's exciting. I don't know, Just makes me smile. Say, yeah, awesome go ahead. job, David. Um, I know you guys entered for quite a few, so I appreciate your working on that and just your global reach is insane. So that's awesome. Just congratulations on that. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we could open this up to uh, questions or comments and, you know, praise. Praise is good too. We like to hear that we've done a good job, right? <laughs> so that's what this is about because it's a lot of hard work work right I mean it's it's you, you put in all this effort and you, you want to be recognized for it and see the value at the end and I it looks like looking at your ROI stats there congrats on that it looks really good thank you okay uh I see there's something in the chat let me double check that 10 languages oh yeah yeah 10 languages that was quite a feat. We'll have to talk uh, talk about how you pulled that off at some other time. <laughs> That'd be. I want to learn from you. That's great. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your presentation. Really appreciate it. And congratulations again on your 2022 uh, Lenny Award. Thanks. Up next, yeah, drum roll, please. Up next, we have the best user interface, the best UI, right? So this one here has always been really important to me because in Litmus, you can customize the heck out of everything in it. And what I found is it's like a Hollywood movie. You know, people are expecting a little bit. Uh, they want to see something and, and they want it to be cool and interesting. And they want to go somewhere that they're going to be engaged rather than just your normal uh, run of the mill. So this award goes out to those folks that are, that are um, looking at that. And today, in 2022, uh, Hewlett Packard takes home the prize for that. And Richard, are you here with us today, Richard? Going to okay. chat a little bit about you? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Well, well, hey, congratulations on uh, Best UI, and I'm going to hand it over to you. Uh, go ahead. 
Well, thanks, Mike. It's nice to talk to you again. And uh, thanks. For, we're thrilled. The team's thrilled by this award. And we're particularly thrilled. We're particularly nervous of, of getting this one. As a, as a couple of my team, including me, are alumni of your class on, on customization from previous <laughs> conferences, we knew yeah. we did not mess this one up. So uh, I, I'm glad we, we met we did the us proud. at least. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted to, to, to get to take the, walk on, the award on behalf of the HP team. Uh, HP has been going through a major transformation over the last few years into an into the edge to cloud company that we call ourselves today, really driving hybrid cloud experiences for our customers, making sure that we deal with people who are uh, dealing with a lot. A lot of people know us as an equipment manufacturer, but we're also a major cloud provider now that brings together kind of multi hybrid cloud solutions for customers. And that transformational journey for which everyone's going through uh, has created a lot of need for training. So we operate a customer training platform um, to try and provide like a continuous learning service. And we use SAP Litmos to drive that. We call that HPE Digital Learner. It's a subscription service. It's about four years old. Um, it's about 10% of our revenue and is one of the highest, in fact, it is the highest growing um, uh, revenue base in of all of our training modalities. So we're really, really proud of it. Um, what we found was within our case was the, the as the, the company was transforming, they were building a lot more self-service portals for customers. And these things look amazing, really glitzy. They've got all the power of the company's brand behind us. And our little old training division here uh, was, was lagging behind a little bit. And although Litmos out of the box looks pretty nice, um, we'd kind of branded it in lots of different um, shades of, of beige and gray. And, and, and it was looking a little tired. And most importantly, it didn't look like it fitted in with the overall customer experience that the company is going for. And we thought, well, that's going to be too much work, right, to, to make it look like one of these major mega million dollar portals that the rest of the company produces. But we we decided to have a go to see if we could strongly integrate Litmos into that corporate brand um, that we that customers experience when they're configuring their cloud platforms in our HP GreenLake cloud console and jumping into support experiences and into training experiences. We really wanted to make sure we could integrate strongly there. So we gave it a go. We worked with a, a design agency called Insight Vectoral, uh, based in Argentina, who did an amazing job bringing our UX vision to life. Uh, and our company gives us what's called a, a design system. So HP has this very complex design system, which details down to the font kerning and the pixel sizes and all kinds of various bits and pieces. We thought there's no way we can do all that in Litmos, right? But actually we were amazed how far we could go. Um, and we ended up doing a major transformation of our UI really touching on 10 key elements. We we brought in new brands to contain different user groups. We deployed new custom headers and footers into those brands to allow specific logo placement, and custom menu items and colors, as you'd expect. We also brought in a much more graphical elements into our platform to make it less text heavy. So uh, lots of new rotating banners on the learning dashboard to promote new features and content. We uh, A lot of that code we got from the dojo. Uh, we also um, implemented a dark theme, which you'll know is quite a challenging thing to do in a UI to get those contrasts right between the different colors. So we wanted to go with a dark theme like the rest of the company uses. Uh, we use, uh, and one of the bit that we're most pleased with um, on on our uh, on on the next screenshot, Mike. If you can show that one, if I just stop with that one there at the top there, you'll notice they've got some buttons under the content library. We work with the pro services team, and we built and then styled up a custom menu. We've got twelve thousand courses in our in our platform, so we needed to find a way to allow people to really quickly navigate to sections. So what we did was we used the tag functionality in an undocumented feature that allows you to deep link directly into tags. Uh, in the pre-fill to the menu. So we built this little menu here, which is nicely responsive um, and allows us to link straight into those things. So that custom tag-based menu was something we enjoyed doing. Uh, we hid a lot of the unused filter menus that we didn't, we didn't have a need for on the left there to kind of remove the clutter a little bit from our side. And we redesigned those course and learning path catalog tiles that you see to try and give them a little bit more visual space to breathe um, and, and go with more of a kind of consistent iconography. We, uh, we redesigned those, those learning path and course pages that you saw before, uh, just allowing us to get again, bring the, the, the course tile through, give a little bit more room for the description, add some background images to it. And finally, uh, some custom navigation icons that you see there on the left-hand side from our kind of corporate menu of, uh, of, of icons. We were, 
we were absolutely blown away by what we could do with this. And this was just our version one. Um, we did this in about four weeks, working backwards and forwards with our design agency. Uh, I can't tell you the budget, but it was unbelievably smaller than we thought. Definitely appropriate for a small customer education group. And my team, including myself, being able to get into this code and make changes and patches, and we've really learned from it. There's about three and a half thousand lines of CSS that we've collected in here to customize <laughs> up the site uh, now in our source control. So that's been a huge, a huge experience for us and a huge eye opener for us. And uh, I, I guess our, our main ROI here is we achieved that that primary thing that we want to do, which is better acceptance into the customer journey inside that. It, it looks and feels like part of the HP family now. It looks and feels like sites that cost way more money to produce inside the company. And we were able to keep up with those bigger support teams and those bigger product teams uh, and really be part of that journey, which is, of course, inviting us to the table more and more now. So we're absolutely thrilled. Um, I think the advice we give to other customers is this is not as hard as you might think it is. If you're just changing the logo, you can go way further. I, again, I point people at those brilliant dojo courses um, on customization. They really helped open our eyes as to what was possible and helped us get up to speed and remove some of the fear factor of getting that done. You know, it's very easy to experiment with this stuff. You can create as many brands as you like. We do our UAT, like our user acceptance testing brand and our design brands in our main portal. So we can push users into early experiences and we can do A-B testing with brands, which isn't something maybe you'd necessarily think of doing. Um, so you don't need to do a lot of extra work to get this thing up and running, to create a little sandbox and start experimenting. We'd, we'd definitely say to people, it's easier than you think, give it a go. Wow, I tell you, it looks so clean. Um, I'm really impressed by this. When when the submission came in, I just uh, I, I like how sharp everything is. It's very thoughtful. It's simple. It's not overbearing. Yeah, it's a it's it's a really it's a delight to look at. And I think you mentioned it. I, I like the way that you framed it. You said it gets us at the table more because they take it more seriously than it's just oh yeah that's just a learning thing. It's like well wait a minute that looks really cool. What is that? And it draws attention and brings people to the table more uh, and, and let's let's be more approachable for what we're trying to. to build so congratulations on that looks oh, really good you. yeah and i think your point about it uh, uh not being as hard as, as you think it is or if you know somebody uh in your company that can help you with this or you hire somebody on one of those freelance sites for for a week's work a week a week of work you can really get something really palatable and that the people are thinking you know that it will really up the game of your system so uh, yeah congratulations any questions at all uh, on this one i would imagine there's going to be a few <laughs> feel free to throw them in the chat or just unmute yourself and ask in a couple minutes mike can you go back to the other screenshot just so everybody can see what sure. that one was yeah uh, richard if you have anything there you go that Sorry, way. i skip i skip past that a bit quick yeah, <laughs> hey that's so. okay the other one's super cool <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, to, on, on, on this one, we, we you know we changed a lot here. We uh, we uncovered loads of different things. So all the buttons are changed here, even the little dials. But even even down to the spacing of those little gray lines between the course modules is something you can control a little more. So I mean, they're literally everything's up for grabs here in, in terms of how you control things, and it, it plays really nicely with uh, with your ability to kind of layer over CSS on the top. Uh, we were we were pretty impressed. Well, really well done. I don't see any any questions. Looks like you got off the hook. Uh, this time we'll get you next time for 2023. We'll have a whole list of questions for you at that point. But uh, yeah, I mean, really, really, again, congratulations. This looks great, and I can't stress enough on how much. Uh, like you know, we sell the tool. How when people we like if we go to conferences and such that people just are attracted to something that looks good and they go, oh, what's that? And then and then that's it. They're like, yes, that's that's what we want because they want to have they want their learners to have that same reaction to it, right? To say, yeah, I want to come in there and see what that's all about. So. You're capturing your your essence and your your personality and and the uh, the brand really well. So congrats on that. Okay, yeah. next up we have more awards. That's right. So the next up, um, uh, yeah, the content library. Soligo going to be pulling in for the best partner training. Uh, really excited about this one. Uh, my my boss JB, uh, good friends with with some of the folks over there, and uh, uh, he was really really happy to see that the that the winning award for best partner training went to Soligo. So uh, Emily, are you on the line? Do you uh, want to chat here. a little bit about yours? Hi Mike. Oh, oh hi, how are you? I'm good. It's been three years since I've seen your face. <laughs> Man, well, here it is. Uh, hopefully it's not uh, too old uh, and, and crusty. I don't know. We're good. I'm super excited to have you speak on this wonderful partner training uh, uh, piece that you did. So um, the floor is yours. 
Thank you. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Super thrilled and thank you so much for the SAP Litmos team for inviting us to this session. So I'm here to talk about the work that we have. Um, compared to all the speakers that have gone before me, looks like maybe we're the new kids on the block. We've been with SAP Litmos for about two and a half years now. Mike, can you roll to the next one? Because I'm gonna like just ad lib this whole thing. I think everyone had a script and it was like perfect. And I'm just gonna do my little thing here. So what do we do with the platform? So actually um, right before the pandemic, right? Cause no one was expecting that. We were just gonna go scale really fast. And we ended up using the platform to not only uh, train our customers but it ended up being our onboarding platform. So all of the HR and compliance courses and global onboarding is managed through our platform. All of the partner onboarding and certification is managed through our platform. All of our contractors who have to come on board and work on our projects and assist with our mutual co customers, they take all the training online through Saligo University. And actually we give free access to all of our prospects as well, because we want it to be another free additional resource where we can set them up for success right out of the gates. So just a little bit of a backup here. Saligo, what do we do? We're an integration platform as a service company. And with that, it sounds like, oh, you guys are pretty darn technical. Very embarrassing. When we I submitted our um, use case over to the SAP Litmos team, I had to really confess how very antiquated our process was. So going back, I mean, just retrospectively, understanding what our customers and partners had to go through in order to get to the journey today, it actually was a very painful process. So our partners, you know, we do have different partner tiers. We ask them to be certified in our platform before they get implementation projects. But prior to that, um, prior to SAP Litmos, everything was managed by Google Sheet. I know, I know, like slap our hands, right? Spreadsheets galore. You're talking about our channel managers, our partner success managers. I know Mike's like hiding his face. Our partner success managers, our customer success managers, our professional services team, our partner team, everyone was managing spreadsheets. And in order for them to be certified, to be able to understand the product in depth that we need, they had to have all these emails go back and forth, schedule time with an auditor. The exam that we had was embarrassing a Google form that they had maybe like 40 questions that they answered. And it was just one person that was able to audit them. So can you imagine the flurry of partners that we had, we were aggressively building out our ecosystem and they're just having to wait weeks on end to get through the auditing pro uh, process. So now what we have inside of our university are very in-depth exams so they can get all the training material that they need because prior to that, they had to link up with somebody in professional services or the partner team to really understand the ins and outs of our very complex products. Complex yet simple. It depends on what you want to do with it, right? Just like the SAP Litmos APIs, complex, but very simple as well. Um, <clears throat> to go into the the platform, and now you get all of your training material, material right off the bat. It's just courses and learning paths galore, and you can consume the content 24 seven. That's the beauty of the platform. And then you get an exam where it's about two to 300 questions. And the exams, and we are redesigning it. We love the fact that with SAP Litmos, it's just so robust in what we can use out of the box and then what we can supplement with other things outside of SAP Litmos, just the flexibility has been really great. So now our partners are able to achieve their certifications at their own pace without having to wait for anyone. So now we don't have any delays. We don't have any complexities in how we have to take them through the exam journey. And then of course, now we have an optimal partner experience and we're able to onboard a tremendous amount of partners over the course of the two and a half years. And as you can see in our ROI, we have some stats here, but in quick calculations, right, we've had um, probably savings of about $3.2 million if I took away just the manual processes and how we're taking care of our partners and achieving, you know, um, a really great rate of satisfaction 
for how they're going through the onboarding experience with us as one of their valued vendors. What we've done is we've completely customized our UI as well with some JavaScripting and CSS scripting. So we do have the horizontal format like HPE. So we're really excited about that. But we take it above and beyond because of the open APIs, we integrate our information and cascade it throughout all the different systems. So our sales team sits inside of Salesforce. Everything that somebody does, we capture the digital footprint and we surface that into Salesforce, not only as leads, but for our customer success team, where we take the Salesforce information and pump it over to Gainsight. They know immediately how a customer or partner is trending through any of the onboarding or prerequisite curriculums and courses. And they're able to immediately reach out and talk about how their experience is going. If they're maybe falling behind, we kind of nudge them along. If they're accelerating at a rapid pace, we want to reach out and celebrate that. In addition, we always we also use the API to surface leads. I know, I'm hoping everybody's sitting down, right? Because you're wondering like, this is a training platform, so how can you surface leads? So what we have done is there's a myriad of information on your website. And I would suspect with everyone, when you look at your website, right? Things are cataloged in different ways, but also there might be material that's in many parts of your website. What we've done is we've curated overview courses of the different products. So it's not just case studies, eBooks, webinars, white papers, data sheets. We pull all of that down into one product overview. And when a customer is looking at that, that is sent over to the sales team inside of Salesforce that, so they can go ahead and say, hey, Wes, I know that you had purchased a particular product, but we also saw that you're looking at this course as well. Is that something that you're building into your new product suite? You're offering, are you having a new online e-commerce presence? And that opens the gates and gives the sales team worm leads. So just every single feature that you can think of with Litmos, we have basically used it all. We absolutely wow. love the relationship that we've built. And also too, one little nugget, maybe someone hasn't mentioned, but you know, you can also layer Google Analytics on top of your Litmos platform as well. So for us, every single month, we average around 2000 users that come with 1200 of them being brand new users to the system about 8,500 global sessions, 116,000 page views. So that's courses and learning paths and whatnot, 35 language and six continents. Wow. Hopefully one day we'll monopolize, you know, Antarctica as well. But at this stage, it's just the other six continents. We're super thrilled about that. And I'm always happy to entertain any questions you have yeah. during this session or afterwards, feel free to reach out to me. Well, congratulations. Thank on you. your win, that's uh, is really great, and I, I mean that ROI jumps out at me. That three point two million, I mean that's a real number right there. You know, and the, the, the enormous amount of administrative work, all of the different ways you're using it, internal, external, really well done. Congratulations, uh, round of applause for you. Thanks for sharing. Appreciate your Thank time. You. That's really great. Okay, ask, no. Mike, Mike, do you mind if I ask Emily, were you on our Halloween webinar that we did a couple weeks ago? No, I had a conflict at that time. So we created it's a it's about the L and D monsters that you're trying to get rid of and going back to what you were saying about about spreadsheets and attempting to manage your whole learning program and by the way I'm Samantha with the Litmus marketing team um, uh, managing your whole learning program through spreadsheets we created a monster called the dirty data demon and I saw him on LinkedIn I saw the little <laughs> clip of him on LinkedIn yes. You you were just ringing our bell there with you you absolutely slayed the dirty data demon. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We like slaying things that don't make sense. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All right. So next up in this wonderful uh, parade of awards, we have the best employee training going out to Labor Max today. And Sparrow, uh, if you're on the line. We can get you going. I can just be handed over to you. You know the drill. Take it from here. Congratulations. We're very excited to award you the best employee training. And the floor is yours. Thanks, Mike. And thanks, Litmos. Um, we absolutely love Litmos. I can't say enough about it. My name is Sparrow Melvino, and I'm the Learning Development Program Manager for Labor Max Staffing. Um, we totally, we completely value our relationship with Litmos. Uh, we started with Litmos, if you'll go to the next slide, Mike. Um, we started our relationship with Litmos four and a half years ago. We literally were a company with one training document and no training department. And we built out the entire department 
using Litmos. And we've always had an extremely low head count. We currently have two people in our department. Um, and I'm joined by my teammate, Aaron Brown. It's pretty remarkable what we're able to do because we have between 430 and 470 internal employees at our corporate location near Kansas City, Missouri, and all over the country. We have branch locations and we're in the staffing industry, which has crazy turnover. And you add everything that's going on in the world. It's been incredible how many people we've gotten and lost and everything else. And training seems to be what helps us to continue to make revenue, which is absolutely incredible. So we really focus on our internal employees with our Litmos system. Um, we specialize in light industrial and flagging, and we just have people with all different experience levels all over the place. So we use our Litmos um, mainly to train our internal people. We have numerous teams and brands. I too learned how to do custom CSS from the dojo. So shout out for the dojo. Um, that was something that I didn't think I could do and no one else in my company thought so either. So it's always great to be a lifelong learner um, and to be able to do things like that. So we have about four different brands um, within our company that we use and it really does make it a specialized experience for each learner. Basically, we create training for day-to-day -day ops, improvements to ops, our new hires, things like that. We have a ton of activity in our system. We literally went, like I said, from one training document about four and a half years ago to a fully fledged LMS. And we have about 61% of our courses are required courses that people take and 39% are for professional development. That was something that the company never even thought we would have. They, would, they just kind of had this people take training because they have to, and then they're done. And that's not the case with us because of the library and because of all the choice that we have, 39% of our courses are taken by choice by our internal employees. And we have um, over 30,000 courses, it's actually closer to 35,000 courses have been taken this year by our internal employees. And in the four and a half years, we're close to 139,000 courses taken by our internal employees to go from not even sure if we need a learning management system or a department to that, I always think is incredible. We basically have a two-person department and we're able to do all kinds of things using automation, teams, hierarchies, all the features in Litmos to get all of our training out to the right people quickly and easily. We're easily one of the most effective departments in our entire corporation. And we're able to help a lot of other departments that don't have some automation and some data. We also use Litmos for things like we piloted single sign-on in our company using Litmos. And then of course that rolled out to all of the rest of the company. We're also able to in, um, use integrations. We're starting a better cloud integration to basically onboard and offboard people for the 14 different programs that we use in our company. And we're able to do that through Litmos as well. Best advice, I would say, keep learning. Features in Litmos are great. I love that Litmos consistently updates content as well as features and be open to that. Like I really pride this department on never resting on our laurels. We keep learning, we keep learning new things and pushing and that's the point, right? We all get better. I flew through all of that. I'm not even sure if I said everything I, I wanted to say, but we- You're love, right on, that's perfect. We love Litmos, we love Litmos. We couldn't do what we do with two people without Litmos. We just couldn't. So that's all I got. Fantastic. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I love how uh, you went from you didn't even know if there was a use case to now all of these people are getting all of this value out of the things that the two of you are producing. So, I mean, congratulations on many fronts on that employee side uh, of just offering opportunities for people to grow and get better and uh, really, really well done. Really yeah, well done. Any questions? Say, yeah. I was just going to say, Sparrow, congratulations. I know some of you don't know that I was an AE before I moved into our marketing role. And so I was actually working with Sparrow when they first came to us. And just seeing how you guys have grown is just, it's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Well, stay on board for the ride. We've got plenty more good stuff to come uh, very, very, very shortly. So really great. Congratulations on, on your win. Thank really you. Great. All right. Next up. Best employee training. Uh, we have a, a gentleman that I've worked with in the past for quite a bit, and I'm really excited to hear from him. Uh, Gershwin, are you on the line? I am. How are you doing? About your win? I'm doing well. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, thank you, and happy to do so. 
so while I've known while I've known Litmos for a while, we are brand new. Our our organization, Thrasio, we're brand new. We're less than a year into our relationship, and our use case was all around operational efficiency when it came to when you when you look at Thrasio and you go to our brand, uh, you go to our website. It's how goods become great, and and that was the challenge that we had. When you look at what we were doing within our organization, we are already good, and we brought in litmus to help us become great and moving those last few percentage points are oftentimes the, the, the most difficult things to do what we looked at with our primary use case for this was our our overall customer experience so when you look at our customer experience um, we went from having a very conventional quality model and and by the way mike you can jump to the next slide um, oh, we went yes, from a very sorry. conventional quality model where people were being evaluated subjectively there were um, employees who were going around and doing that quality evaluation, and we were only doing around 3% of our overall interactions. And when you look at the fact that we have 70,000 plus interactions via Amazon, um, customers online commenting about us, about our 190 plus brands, we needed to change that. So we went to a completely automated AI driven experience for our customer analysis. And with that new technology, with the new processes, we needed our people to be enhanced. When we look at our ROI, it was strictly based off, off, off hard dollars. So we legitimately saved, it was um, 551,000 and change. I just rounded it down to 500,000 um, and made a, a cool half a mil. With that, when we launched our quality, we actually launched it with so we went through a whole onboarding experience for our employees when it came to this new platform and they had to go through um, set learning paths. So we set up all those learning paths. And when we launched, we launched with a 4.14 uh, CX score to understand the industry within the overall industry. When you look at um, customer experience, customer experience is sitting at a 2.5 within the retail industry, which is our vertical e retail e-commerce. We sit at a 3.1. So having the partnership to get us to a 4.14 out of the gate, we, we probably could have won the award with that. Uh, but again, how goods become great, and that's, that's our whole motto. We then continue to put employees through an ongoing employee development experience using Learning Pass. And then one of the main parts here is we integrated it with a, with a variety of different systems. So we have our Litmus platform working with Disperse, which is another content-driven system with Udemy, with Amplify. And we created this robust library with personalized learning journeys for the employees. And that drove our CSAT to being at a 3.34 at the time of the award. And we, we bumped up a little bit since then. That puts us top 10% across any industry right now. And we're gonna continue. Oh, by the way, our goal is to get to a, a, a 4.5, which is absolutely best in class. We will get there in, in one way or the other. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna end up getting there. Um, Here's the advice that I would put to everybody. And uh, Chris, I'm going to expect some warm chocolate chip cookies for, from you um, for, for plugging your content here. But content is key. Look, it's it's crazy that you launch an LMS without the right content. Litmus has off-the-shelf content that you can take and roll with right away. Get that, purchase it, utilize it. We utilize that. We disperse our Udemy our partnerships, our Amplify partnerships. We built up a rich catalog, and then we allowed it to be to use AI with some of our platforms to curate that content for our employees. And that's and that's ultimately our key. So on that note, I'm at four minutes and thirty seconds. I'm going to pass it back over to you so that we can get back on and make sure that you wrap up on time. <laughs> Super well done. Uh, I mean, I'm always impressed with what you do, what you did with uh, your last company with Litmus and this as well. Uh, you're really focused on the data side and pushing those uh, those metrics. Uh, I mean, yeah, really impressive. I just want to say any other thoughts or comments from the crowd? Questions? Anything like that? Well, hey, listen, uh, fantastic presentation. Thanks for uh, jumping right into that and, and uh, showcasing this. I know you're only a year in, but plenty more to come. We're looking forward to working with you in the future. Uh, congratulations on your win. Now, the last award of the day goes out to ABM for best service training. Now, Steve couldn't couldn't be here today uh, in person, so uh, we do have a video as well um, for our final one. Uh, brief use case, aviation in the UK. Um, and then I think, yes, yeah, Steve has a video here that we can share. Let's just do that now. Hi everybody, my name is Stephen Laird. I'm the Learner Development Manager for IBM Aviation at Stansted Airport. First, I'd like to thank everybody for the award for best service training uh, with SAP Litmus for the Lenny Awards. Absolutely ecstatic that we got that uh, on behalf of IBM.
VM Aviation. Um, it's been a lot of hard work. Um, we've been using the system now for six years. Um, for us personally, I've been using it for the last four years. Um, I decided to take the bull by the horn and go with it. Um, it was one of these platforms that were left undiscovered, shall we say, um, that I learned by obviously going on Litmus Dojo, uh, obviously working very closely with Adam Isoff and Mike Pass um, to actually progress myself in that career. Learning everything about it, even from content author to actually uploading of the actual teams under a tree bracket, uh, branching them off. Individual course content creation was fantastic. Obviously working with the other stations in the aviation sector under Ola Wikes, who is our learning development manager. Uh, she is one of the heads of the department. Um, and together with myself, obviously, I've worked very closely with my directors to get ABM to where they need to be with this online learning. For us, compliance was always very, fairly difficult. We deal with the assisted travel side of things within the aviation sector. So trying to get people in and out of the operation trying to get them more sort of used to that practicality of not being in the classroom and that they were very dubious at first but again the interaction and the flexibility in that very much won them over and again we lost a lot of people's interaction sometimes in the classroom depending who was training them and the, the way they train people but for us the actual course content and that was very, fairly important for us and to divide pips you know, our teams into individual teams that we could create that content and individually send it off to these people. We also use it for managerials uh, courses which we built online. We have an additional 200 courses that between myself and others have created to a fantastic large library for our learners. Um, we also produce and send out e-signatures and that, so company correspondence and that, any updates with any CAA regulations or health and safety updates and corporate level. Um, and again, been able to use that function and use the messaging function to individually send one to the team or an individual learner was paramount for us. Basically uploading and that, you know, I learned fairly quickly in that, that doing one at a time and that as opposed to doing a CSV file and you can upload 5,000 people, same with your course content, was fairly important to us. So our main point at this time was to get everybody compliant. So I created our own course content, we uploaded it, we created it and called it uh, learning paths and at that point we were creating the courses and adding them to the learning path in which case it worked fairly well the following year we were compliant and we proved it to the board of directors that it was worth having that we got compliant with just under 300 staff within a three-week ratio we then proved it again for a secondary time and that happened again within a two-week ratio just to prove that it works now we've been using that now for the last three years for all our mandatories which are done per annum and for us, the return on investment is no comparison where we have staff interaction. People are very happy to do it. They, the freedom and flexibility have been able to learn wherever they want to be. Um, we give them free internet access because they're using their own PDA devices, the personal device agents, which are part of their everyday work-to-work -work ratio. So for us, it's fairly important that the guys understand. Now, we're obviously working very closely with the stakeholders and our clients and that. MAG, the Manchester Airport Group, and our clients with the airlines, together with the learners and that, we're building a nice little portfolio to go forward. What does the future hold for ABM and Litmus? A lot. I think, obviously, collaboration, working together, will be huge for us, and I think, hopefully, we can spread this out throughout the whole of the divisions there. Um, but we like the freedom, we like the course content, however, we would like more up-to-date stuff, which is great. But again, for us, it, I could sit here and talk all night. Would I recommend Litmus to everybody? Yes, I would. The change that has happened to us as a learning platform, and especially for me in learning and development and that, and other people's personal development, is huge. You can't, there's no comparison. And again, would we ever go back to classroom? We still train classroom basis, but for this, no, we wouldn't. Anyway, I hope everybody has a fantastic night. I really hate doing videos, but uh, on behalf of ABM, thank you very much, and we hope to see you soon. Take care.
I love his passion. <laughs> it was great. So much, so much energy around around it. Uh, we're just learning, folks, but uh, we're we're bringing the passion for sure. Uh, congratulations out definitely to ABM and Steve. I mean, really wonderful presentation. Uh, really great to see how many different industries and and markets and verticals and all of the all of the jargon that you know, that, that that Limus uh, provides value and and makes a difference in their lives. So, uh, man, amazing, amazing group of winners uh, this time around uh, for 2022. It's been my pleasure to share that. We hope that you uh, really enjoy Litmus and all of the things that are going to come in the next year and absolutely present uh, to us again next year because you're going to win as well. You're going to come in with that. So uh, anything else from the Litmus team? Would you like to, any last things? No, I was just going to say thank you all. Thank you for attending. Thank you for presenting and putting so much hard work in. It seems yeah. the dojo was a big theme this time. So make sure you're using yeah. it if you're not. Um, seems like everybody had something to say about it. So we'll that's keep awesome. Put stuff that in there part. for you. That's on yeah. my shoulders. So I'll keep, I'll keep yeah. putting, putting good content in there for you. You have my, my dedication on that. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you all very so much, much from all of us at Litmus. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks again. And congratulations on your win. Take care. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.